I just have another video here to share with you guys on how to restore your PC, laptop, computer back to its factory-like condition using a recovery partition that's already built um, into the computer. Not really built into the computer, but it's already imaged onto the drive as a, uh, another partition that comes from the manufacturer. And uh, real quick, I am using a camera over top of a laptop, guys, because I was working on this laptop here and I tore it completely apart as it was overheating, put new heat sink compound on it and unclogged the fan that was completely clogged. So I couldn't even go in here to repair it because it kept powering off of me. So this is my second step that I need to complete, which is restoring it because it had viruses and it was run. it's running really, really slow right now. So I will put a link in the video here. You guys can click the link to go to go watch the video. I had this whole thing tore apart. Um, I did a little vlog on it. So uh, anyway, getting back to this, I'll do the best I can with the, the camera guys as far as focusing and stuff. What you're looking at there is a recovery partition. And let me zoom in here a little bit. I will close out of it. And real quick, I'll go over the, the computer real quick. It's uh, Windows Edition Vista Home Premium is what I am running here. Let's see if I can get in here a little closer. Windows Vista Home Premium. And um, you can see this is an older laptop. It's a compact Presario CQ50 notebook. Um, AMD Athlon dual core QL60, 1.9 gigahertz. Only has two gigs of RAM and it's a 32-bit operating system. So it is definitely a bit older. So what I will do is I'm gonna close out of that and I'm gonna go ahead and go into the icon over here that says computer. I'm gonna double click that so I can go in here and then now in here guys, I can take a look at my drives in the computer. So here is the main hard drive. Um, if you look over here, there's this nice image. It's called Presario RP and that's a restore partition. And that's imaged onto the hard drive here. Um, this does not contain your, your data like your pictures and music and, and stuff like that, but this does contain the, ori the original operating system here. When this is really nice if you have one on your PC because you can boot from it by pressing F11 and I'm gonna go through and show you guys that real quick. But if I double click that, it says recovery here and if I double click that, I get this recovery partition thing here. I can't do anything with that. Um, this thing's really, really nice. Um, sometimes a couple of things about this. Um, if the actual, if the hard drive here to, if the main hard drive to your computer is uh, you know failing, then this recovery partition may not work. That's the only bad thing is these are on the same hard drive. You know this is just um, a partition here that's actually on the C drive, but it's a partition. So if the main hard drive here of the computer becomes corrupt or goes bad, then you're not going to be able to use this restore partition. But again, they are. They are really handy because this will restore everything back to the day you got your laptop or desktop out of the box, you know, at home and before you installed any additional software. So this is not like a, a backup of your computer right now. If you have, you know, pictures and music and documents, and I'll go into the user account here real quick and I'll show you guys that all this stuff here, my downloads, music and pictures, I already backed all that stuff up for this notebook. Okay, so this recovery partition only contains basically the Windows Vista operating system and software that originally shipped with the computer. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to I'm going to restart the computer here. And we shouldn't have to enter the product key which I have on the bottom of the computer because this is basically an image. So, what you want to do is in order to say you want to access the recovery partition. What you want to do then guys is basically just restart your computer. And what I'll do is I'll pause the screen when it first comes up and show you the options here. I know my camera is not the best quality right now, but I'll do the best I can. I was working on this notebook and I wanted to share this with you guys when I saw it had a recovery partition because they're pretty handy. So I'm gonna 
pause the computer right there. I'm actually, because it goes so fast, I always miss what it says at the bottom. So if you hit, if you just simply press the pause button, then you can pause right here on these options. Now you'll see I have a, a list of um, options here. Escape to enable startup messages, you know, several options. F1 for system information, F9 to change boot device order, F2 is your startup check, F10 would be the BIOS setup options, and there you can see it says F11 to system recovery. So what's important is when you first restart the, the laptop here, I'm gonna press the pause button again to get going, but you wanna start pressing F11 repeatedly right away. And then you can see that that triggers the recovery partition to start. So I should be, and if, you know, if it don't start for you right away, there's, there's bugs with those recovery partitions too. Sometimes you'll sit there and press F11 and it, it just won't work. And it'll just boot back to the desktop. Now remember, I got into this by pressing F11 that gets us into the recovery manager. So um, there are some advanced options here. You can click advanced options and you get the computer checkup, Microsoft system restore, file backup. I'm going to click back. I want to try and click. I just want to click next to see what it does. All right, so it says Microsoft System Restore uses restore points to restore your system to an earlier point in time. We do not want to launch the Microsoft System Restore. That's um, something different. So that's not what we want. And since that's what comes up when I click next, I'm going to have to go through advanced options. So here's our options here. So if you select computer checkup, we don't want to do that. That's some test that, you know, it will run. There is the Microsoft System Restore again. We don't want to do that. Here is a file backup program. You guys can back up your files using this recovery manager. What we want is the full system recovery, basically. So recover your computer to its original factory condition. That's what we want. So we want to click next. And if, as you can see at the top there, it tells us this process will, will reinstall the original factory shipped software. All user created files will be lost. All files created after your purchase and all programs installed after purchase will be lost. So that's pretty self, you know, explanatory. <laughs> so do you want to back up your data before recovery begins? You know, I recommend you guys already back your stuff up and not go through this because you're computers probably having issues so you know you want to manually back your stuff up to a thumb drive or or an external hard drive connect that to your laptop or desktop copy your pictures over and then unplug that stuff from the desktop before you perform factory resets like this or restores so right here it says recover without backing up your files I already did backup stuff Factory image recovery. Okay, reformatting the Windows partition of your hard disk drive, reinstalling original content. So we are at 100% now, guys, with this factory image recovery. And that is just this part of the process. So we'll see what happens here. Now, this can take quite a while. So we'll see what, what the uh, notebook here is going to do. All right, recovery is complete. So then all we have to let's see here, once the system restarts, you can finish the initial setup. So just follow the prompts there. And then I can just click finish here. Recovery is complete. Software is being installed. Make sure you guys have your notebook plugged into your power adapter as well. That way it doesn't power off on you during the process or shut off because you don't want that to happen when you're trying to do a recovery like this. Looks like 
we are at a welcome screen here. I'm not sure if it's going to reboot again or not, or if it's going to boot to the desktop, but this process does take upwards of about an hour. So be prepared to spend a little time waiting for your system to recover, uh, you know, and restore back to factory. Um, if it contains that recovery image partition, um, I'm probably about at 45 minutes right now for this and it rebooted multiple times. So Nope, still installing some software there. All right, so we there's Windows Vista Home Premium. And let's go ahead and click Next and go through the process here. Okay, guys, so it looks like we are getting back to the desktop here after a very lengthy install process. Now, just so you guys know, that could have taken you up to an hour plus and longer to uh, reinstall everything here. I would say anywhere from an hour, between an hour to two hours actually to go through the process. So probably about an hour and a half. So here we are back at the desktop now. Now a couple of things with this real quick before I finish the video up here. This completely restored, um, you know, this computer back to factory. So if I go in here to my computer, and it's actually still going through and setting some stuff up here, <clears throat> and we just take a look here, I'm probably going to get a multiple pop-ups here until I get through all the... Okay, so if I go in here and I take a look, so you can see I have Service Pack 1, Windows Vista Home Premium completely restored here. If I go in oh, to the device manager up here, one thing nice about these factory images and recovery partitions is everything in the device manager is back to normal and we, there's no need to go and install additional drivers. I mean, there might be Windows updates and things like that to do, but all that stuff is restored. Um, if you look at your programs, all the software that came with the computer is back on there. Um, the only thing with this is if you bought your computer say three four years ago and you're finally doing this it's actually going to restore old stuff onto the computer so uh, there's Microsoft this particular thing right here is one thing I'm talking about I'll just zoom the camera in here so you can uh, take a look like that says Microsoft Office 60 day trial okay you know you bought the computer how long ago? So that stuff really, you know, is probably not going to be any good. So one thing you'll want to do after you do this using that recovery partition is go into your control panel and then go into your programs and uninstall it, click uninstall a program. And you're going to want to go through some of these programs in here and I'll get the camera close there again, because if you look, some of these things are very very old okay this is if you look at the dates over here 2008 2007 i mean we're in 2014 so we're talking you know really really old so although this recovery partition is really really nice and installs all the original software and drivers to this computer back to you know factory we want to go in and individually uninstall all this you know the old stuff you don't want to uninstall it like the toolbar the yahoo toolbar there you want to uninstall like i'd uninstall that i would synopics pointing device driver that is um perfectly fine because that's an actual driver for the system for the um, touchpad just some stuff here like norton internet security 2007 that stuff you'd want to uninstall. So just an idea, I would always leave all the Microsoft stuff alone since it's a compact system, all the HP, like the wireless assist assistant and all that kinds of stuff. But like there's Cyberlink DVD suite. See, now normally you wouldn't get all that if you used a di a, the DVD to wipe your computer out. So like AIM 6, you know, Adobe Reader 8.1, that stuff, that's really old. So some of that stuff there, I'd go in and uninstall some of that stuff you know, um, before using this computer, that's going to actually be what I'm going to do next, actually. 
But like I said, what's really nice about it is it does restore everything back to factory, which makes the process really nice. You don't have to install a bunch of software. Um, let's take one quick look and make sure Windows is activated down here at the bottom. Yes, it does say Windows is activated. So it automatically, you know, activates Windows for this, which is another nice, nice thing about that recovery partition. And then I would go in and start working on all my Windows updates, which would be once I get connected to the internet here, I'll go in and start all the updates. So, you know, if you're doing this recovery, first things first, you know, throw out these, these things in the trash, some of this junk on the desktop. Um, you know, you'll get rid of Norton. Go in, go in the control panel, start uninstalling all the stuff that's old. Go through and uninstall everything here. So, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you. Um, now you can copy all your data back over to your, your documents and stuff. You can copy all your data back over to this computer. It's all clean and wiped out. You want to download new stuff and do all the updates and you'll be all set. So thanks a lot guys for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment and I hope it helps some of you out. Have a good one.